It's Melanie. I'm back to do another floss tube. I can't believe it's been two weeks. I said I was going to come back in two weeks, and so even though it's been a crazy busy day, I am back in two weeks. The time just flies, though. Uh, so much has happened in two weeks. It's amazing what can happen in 14 days. Let's see, some updates. We had Snowmageddon here in <laughs> Michigan, um, which is... Uh, nine inches of snow in the driveway. So I got a lot of exercise in with my shovel and uh, gotta love the plow. Hey, they help get us on the roads, but you know, when they come barreling down the street and you end up with a five foot pile of ice at the bottom of the driveway. Yeah, it was good though. It was beautiful. I took advantage of it with friends. I went out skiing, had a great time. It was beautiful snow conditions and so many people were out uh, and about, it was it was a lot of fun. I got super daring and I decided to graduate to a double black diamond. And uh, it was so steep, you guys. It was so steep that once you lost your balance and fell, like I did, I got about halfway down and when I lost my balance and fell, it was so steep I just went barreling down the hill on my back, skis in the air, flying down the hill. I couldn't catch I couldn't catch anything and sat myself. It felt like I was on a sled going like lightning speed, but really funny. We had a really, really good laugh out of it. Um, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. So did a bit of skiing. And then um, this past weekend, I had a sleepover for my nieces, which I always adore. Two of my nieces, my older ones. And we went and saw Peter Rabbit. So highly recommend that movie if you haven't seen it. You know, some of these kid movies are just the best. Like Finding Dory, I laugh so hard every time I watch that movie. Um, but Peter Rabbit was good. It had really good humor in it. And we laughed. It was a really heartfelt story. I really enjoyed it. They loved it. They loved the popcorn. We went to Imagine Theater. They had their feet reclined. It was really good. Um, and then my girlfriend hosted a party. She has a group of friends, and every Saturday in February they have a party, and it's a fundraiser. So you come and you donate, and then they have drinks, and everyone socializes. And the theme of this past Saturday was Go Wild for the Detroit Dog Rescue. So I dressed up like a tiger, $2.99 on Amazon, um, and had a ton of fun. We had a great time. She had a photo booth. It was really original and unique and we raised money for a good cause. I think she said over $200. Um, so that was a lot of fun. And then my wildest adventure of the weekend, which I'm going to tell you I absolutely loved. I have lived in Royal Oak for five years. Not ten. Five. Five years. And in that time, I have never visited our library. And I was inspired by Michelle Bendy Stitchy and Abby, Tap Not Stitcher, um, to try this new app called Overdrive. And you can basically rent ebooks or audiobooks through your local library, but you need a library card. So I went to my library and got my very own library card and rented this amazing book that Abby recommended. Thank you, Abby. Um, I'm hooked on it. I'm hooked on it. And I just, I want to read books and stitch and be in my pajamas all day. I just feel like that's not too much to ask, right? I mean, we only live once. So yeah, it's making it hard to get up and go to work when all I wanna do is stay home and chill. <laughs> but hey, we can never have enough hobbies. Um, speaking of that, so I'm going to take on a new venture. I see all you guys making these project bags. Oh my gosh, I am so impressed with you all. I don't know how you just have all this craftiness oozing out your fingertips, but my Ziploc bags just don't look so good anymore. And now I'm looking at all the project bags. I'm like, oh, I need to coordinate a project bag. So I've never used a sewing machine. My birthday's in May, and I'm going to get myself a sewing machine for my birthday. My sister's going to help show me how to turn it on because <laughs> she's used one. I've never even, never even touched one. Um... And then I'm going to try and look at some of the tutorials and get inspiration from you guys because, man, you make some amazing project bags. So if you have a recommendation for a beginner sewing machine that you would recommend, I don't need to do fancy stitches. I just, I want to just make project bags right now. I'll start there. If I can figure that out, I'll be happy. <laughs> so put it in the comments below if you have a recommendation. I, I look up to so many of you crafters. Um, and it's just really, really inspiring what you do. So if you want to help a beginning sewer, let me know. 
But let's get on to the fun stuff, the gift away. You guys, I, I enjoyed this more than I can tell you. Reading all of your comments, I tried to reply to everybody. It, every time I read it, it just put a smile on my face. And um, I really liked being able to connect with you guys that way. So I went to my LNS this past weekend and I stocked up on charts out of their bin. Um, but let's talk about the gift away from last week. So I have this all on my laptop. I'm gonna be looking up a little bit. For the snowman, the stitching in the moonlight, and let me refresh your memory. This is the skating snowman who left his spot, decided to go out on the ice there. He's doing some figure eights and super cute pattern. Everybody loved this. There are a lot of snowman lovers out there, uh, which made my mom very happy because she is also a snowman lover. So for this specific chart, I had 118 people put in for it. 118. So on my phone here, I've got the random generator that I see everybody using. I have all of your names off to the right here on an Excel spreadsheet that I'm looking at. And I've got random number, oh, you're never gonna be able to see that. Random number generator, one through 118. And the winner is number 83. And number 83 is Kim Goldman. So Kim, I will respond to your Request down below in the comments, and if you could send me your address, I'd love to get this out to you. Um, congratulations, I think it's so cute. I would love it if you could show us pictures of it once you're done stitching it, and it just makes me so happy that you're gonna get to enjoy this. So congratulations, Kim. All right, on to Quaker Friends. So for Quaker Friends, let me look at my sheet here. I had 25 entries for Quaker Friends. So random number generator, one through 25. Let's see what we get. Generate. Number 10, we got number 10, who is Lynette Peters. So Lynette Peters, you have won Quaker Friends. I hope you love it. I hope you get enjoyment out of stitching it. It just makes me really happy to think about you enjoying this pattern. So you guys send me your information and I'll comment on the link below and then um, I'll get it out in the mail. And thank you everybody for all your kind comments that you uh, that you put on my video about this. You guys were very, very generous and kind and it really means a lot to me. This whole community means a lot to me. So let's talk about the patterns for next week that I found. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so the first one is no joke. This first pattern, and I didn't realize how big it was when I bought it. So it's called My Family Tree by Kimberly Mueller. And basically it is, let me get my Excel file out of the way so I can see you guys again. There you are. Um, it's like a sampler type and it's got the people with the house, the cloud, the sun, and it's got this whole family tree that you stitch and you put in your the names of your family. And I just, I thought that was really cool because you could personalize it. Get it closer. And then it's got this really beautiful border and these birds flying. I just love it. I just think that that's so neat for those of you who have a big family or maybe you wanna pass this down. Um, but I will tell you, I'm not gonna show you the pattern, but this was a $16 pattern that they had on sale because there are nine pages. Nine pages. It is 365 by 221 inches. So for whoever chooses to enter this, this is a big one. This one scares me. I, uh, I will say I don't know that I could do this big of a piece at this point. So if you'd like to enter the drawing for this in the comments, please be 18 or over. Please be a subscriber to my channel and say, I would like to stitch family tree. And I will sort by those family tree comments and enter you guys in for the next gift away. So the second one that I found, and I just thought this was adorable, and they actually updated the pattern. It was an $8 pattern back in the day. And they updated it, it's by Hillside Samplings with an actual photo. Because you know, sometimes the picture quality on these uh, printouts just doesn't do it justice. So they actually put a real photo of the finished piece um, and it's four houses. I just, I love stitching houses. A couple of my whips right now have houses and I'm obsessed. I just love it. 
So there's four houses and it has the alphabet and this really cute border. And the way the pattern is, you could do four individual homes or put them all on one piece. You know, it's really up to you how you'd wanna do that. But that border is a really nice clean cutoff point for that. So yeah, this one looks super cute. I, I just fell in love with it. Like I said, if I could stitch all the things, I would stitch all the things, but I can't. So it says it's stitched on 32 count linen. It's got all the information. It looks like a really fun stitch. So if you'd like to enter the gift away, say I'd like to stitch the houses and I will enter you for it. So I am going to do a video probably three weeks from now. Um, I have my vacation coming up to Florida. Work has been very, very busy. I'm trying to turn my car in and get my new lease. So I've got a lot going on in the next couple weeks, but three weeks from now, I will come back on and do a video and I will do those giftaways. So can't wait to see who gets them. Can't wait. So I got some new goodies. Um, just little things, little things. More baby scissors. Oh my gosh. Love these baby scissors, but these are not my travel ones because they don't have the protector on them. But I got these on Amazon and I love the little grips on them. They've got like the rubber grips to them and super cute, super cute. Love these little scissors. But the main event, which I'm in a little bit of a love-hate with right now, is seam fix. So I'm sure you guys who are stitchers know about this little tool. Um, I will say I do love it. I love it because whatever the reason, the past two weeks, I was off by a square. I was off by a column. I, I don't know what I was doing. I was so distracted. I was watching floss tube and stitching and... I had so many mistakes the past two weeks that I had to do so much seam fixing, so much ripping. But this tool, um, and I got this one on Amazon too, if you haven't seen it, it's got this little point to it. So it slips under your X really easy and snips it. And then when you're done doing that, you take this side and you rub it and it, it rubs the threads right out. So this helped me a ton, except when it came to Christmas rules. I found out I was a row off on Christmas rules. And that is such a big piece, that is such a special piece to me, that I was like, nope, I gotta go back and fix it. So I was just using this thing, ripping away, ripping away, and I started rubbing, and then I looked, and underneath the actual linen I had cut. So I have to restart that project, which is not a big deal. You guys saw that last time. I didn't have very much done. I had. The word, half of the word Christmas done, and then two of the blocks for rules. So not a big deal, but for me on that piece, I'd rather do it right if I'm going to spend the whole year working on that. So if you do invest in this handy little gadget, which I love, I do love, um, don't go too fast <laughs> because you may nip the fabric underneath and uh, have to start over. So yeah, I enjoyed this though. That was, that was a good thing. So let's talk whips, let's talk stitching, right? After all this time. So the first whip that I've been obsessed with, um, if you, well, let's talk about my lips first, right? So this was my plan, this was my stitchy plan, right? Month by month, here's my stitchy plan. So in January, I was supposed to do the January Flip It by Lizzie Kate, crossed it off the list, it's done. I was supposed to start Winter by Lizzie Kate, I showed you guys that last time, crossed it off the list. The February Flip It, done, it's on the mailbox. The Christmas Rules Topper, that was the snafu, so I'm behind on him. And the 2017 Prairie Schooler Santa, I've decided to move him down to December when I'm in the Santa mood because I'm just like wanting to stitch spring and stuff right now. I just can't feel Santa. Um, but I really love that piece and I'm really excited because that's the one I have a charm for, but I wanna be a little bit more in the Christmassy mood for him. So. In February, I was supposed to start the March Flip It, which I brought the chart. I have not started him yet. Um, I have two more weeks to start him. Um, but this is another one of those fun ones that I'm just gonna put on the interchangeable board that attaches to my mailbox that I showed last week. I really like these a lot. I just ordered the rest of them today. Um, so I'll have the whole set for the whole year. So I've gotta start him. Um, Winter Wonderland, which I did start. I'm going to show you that. Spring by Lizzie Kate, which I did start. I'll show you that. And then the March Daffodil uh, by Prairie Schooler, which I did start. And I will show you that one as well. So I have been obsessed with 
the Prairie Schooler pattern. I love this. I love the colors in this house. I love stitching houses because once you do the outline, you can just go and go and go and go. And I love the way the stitches look and they just end up making this adorable little house. So I have really been loving this piece and I've been stitching on it quite a bit. Um, so here is my progress. Oh, I gotta put something behind this. Okay. So there it is, there's the pink house. I absolutely love the colors. Love it, and but you know, this doesn't look like much, but you guys, stitching and stitching and stitching and stitching for hours to get me this much house. You know, when you're done, you sit there and you look and you're like, geez, oh, Pete, I should have more, but it takes me a long time. So this was many, many hours of stitching to get me to this point. Um, the fabric that I used for this, let me look at my notes. I think that was the wheat lugana. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's mushroom lugana that I used. So this is 28 count mushroom lugana that I chose for this guy. And I love it. I, I love the way it's turning out. I just want to stitch it all the time. It's the first thing that I reach for in my basket of whips. Um, but I'm really enjoying that one. Enjoying that one a lot. The next one is Winter Wonderland which I love this too, so absolutely adorable. The snowman, and this is the one that Priscilla and Chelsea have a sale for, uh, uh, PC Winter Wonderland. Um, I gotta post my, my picture, but here it is with the little snowman, and I've seen so many people and how they finished them. Absolutely adorable. I chose to do this one on Wheat Lugana. So this is 28 count Wheat Lugana, and this is where I'm at right now. <laughs> I have a little snowman. He just makes me happy when I look at him. He just makes me so happy to stare at him with the little broom and those eyes. French not so. Whew. Whew. That took me some time to get those eyes on there, but he's got eyes so he can see. So I'm loving this one. Um, that's my second whip. My third whip is another one, and I'm just so glad I'm doing it because of the house. <laughs> I just want to stitch all the houses. Um, so this is the Spring by Lizzie Kate. So I finished the winter. That's the only one I've got done so far. I just ordered summer and autumn. And the color in this house is absolutely beautiful. That door is a plum color. And that house is that, I think it's, I can't remember the name of it. But it's just that really beautiful light purple. I'm enjoying this one so much. I just want to stitch all the houses. So this one I did on tea dyed Monaco, um, 28 count again, and this is how he looks, or the house looks, and I just love it. I absolutely love the different purples and the tree, these pieces, and I said the same thing about the winter one, the colors are so vibrant. They're weak dye work colors. I just, I can't get over how beautiful they are. The variegation, they're just, they're gorgeous. And the color combinations, they're just gorgeous. So I'm really, really loving this. Really loving this. So those are my three whips right now. I'm supposed to have five because I have to add in this guy. So I've got to kit him up this week and do him. And then I got to get back on Christmas rules. So I had ordered um, Clay Joblin and it was the one I showed. It had like a little bit of the red marbling in it. So pretty. But I had to order a big piece, and so now if I want to do it on that same fabric, I've got to reorder that. Or I might try, I might try to tea coffee dye my own fabric. I'm kind of thinking about it. I was initially inspired by Priscilla and Chelsea. They tea coffee dye all their stuff. And then uh, Pretty Southern, Linda Jo, she just did a video last week, and hey, hey Linda Jo, if you're watching, you are the most patient woman in the world. I mean, she just stood over the stove and dipped and dunked and baked and in and out of the oven and it was beautiful. It turned out beautiful, but wow, the patience you have, girl. So I probably won't be that thorough with my dunking, but I'm thinking about trying it because I really love that look. I love that antique look and everybody who does it, um, their stuff looks really, really good on it. So I think I might do that for Christmas rules. I might tea coffee dye some fabric this weekend and get restarted on it. We'll see. Uh, let's see. What's next in my notes? What's next in my notes? Um, happy mail. Happy mail because it made me so happy. Where did I send it? Where did I send it? So I've gotten a couple pieces of happy mail. Um, the first one was from Michelle Bendy Stitchy. I had bought her D-stash, or I had logged on to her D-stash 
sale and bought a piece and she sent it to me and gave me this awesome flash postcard which was so much fun I really really enjoyed that um, made me very happy and then uh, Abby tap that stitcher um, she called out for pen pals and I said yes I'd love to be a pen pal so she had sent me this beautiful postcard which just has the most beautiful moon on it and that's one of her very favorite things and I I just love that I love the colors in it with a really sweet note on the back so thank you Michelle thank you Abby that was very very sweet and then I have a new pen pal Julie and Julie is not on floss tube she's golf jewels on Instagram but she sent me a valentine the sweetest valentine this little teddy bear and inside it was the most beautiful note but inside she also sent me this little pattern from the prairie schooler this little Halloween one. I absolutely love that ghost and moon and pumpkin. I'm really looking forward to doing that. Absolutely adorable. So cute. And then she also printed me off, um, I don't think I have it in here, but she printed off a freebie from, oh, here it is. It's a freebie pattern from the Prairie Schooler website. So because it's a freebie, I'll just show you briefly, but it's a poinsettia. And she printed it off for me and I just thought that was so kind of her. So thank you so much, Julie. I have you got your stuff ready to send out. Um, I'm going to do that this week. Got a lot to do this week. That's why three weeks before my next floss tooth, but it goes fast. Time just goes so fast. So last thing I want to mention is um, shout outs. I watched a lot of floss tube. I've given up on television to try and keep up with the floss tube. Um, so Nicole's needlework. I know I'm late to the party on this one. Nicole, you do amazing work. I started watching some of her earlier videos and she's also a knitter. Beautiful stuff that she makes. Just absolutely beautiful scarves. And uh, uh, in her latest, she just showed her sampler. Um, it was a red sampler. And it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. It looks like she spent so much time on it and she's one of those stitchers that just has the beautiful, perfect stitches. So if you haven't by chance visited Nicole at Nicole's Needlework, stop by and say hi to her. Um, Marlene, it's Stitching by the Lake. You are sweet as pie. She is just the kindest, sweetest woman. I love seeing your stitching projects. I loved your video with you and your sister. Absolutely adorable. Um, and she makes some project bags as well. So check her out. She's just a sweetie pie. Love her channel. And then Heather Moore. I watched her videos this week. Um, she's got 19 of them. She lives in Texas, she's a mom, and what a natural you are, Heather. She just, it's like you're just sitting in her kitchen talking to her. She just, from her very first floss tube, she just took off right away and uh, just so at home with things. So you guys keep up the videos. I really, you know, I wish I had more hours in the day because I just wanna sit and watch everybody's videos and I'm still trying to catch up on everybody's videos, but it, it really is a lot of fun. And I really think the community is expanding. It's, it's, really been a huge addition to my life. I can't even tell you how much. It's brought me so much happiness and friendship and there is something very, very unique and very, I don't know, like a very deep, intimate friendship with people when you guys share a craft and you're like-minded and everyone's so kind and welcoming. It just, it really brings a lot to my day. So. I want to thank all you guys and uh, don't forget the giftaways. Don't forget to enter down below. So if you want to stitch the houses, house samplings, or if you would like to stitch my family tree and I'm back your patience for this one. This is good. This is huge. This one is huge, but I just love it. Pam from uh, Just Keep Stitching. She did. She when she went to the retreat, she showed she had a family tree one. Um, yeah, it was much prettier than this one, I think. And she had done it and, and filled it out, and it was just gorgeous. She had it framed at keepsakes. So this reminded me of that. Um, I, I like the little people, and I like some of the color in it. So, yeah, you could do your own little family tree. So don't forget to enter. But have a great rest of February, you guys. I hope you had an awesome Valentine's Day. Spring is coming. It is coming. I know it seems like a long winter, but... It'll be here before we know it, and Easter will be here. So I will see you guys in a couple weeks, and thank you again for all the support, for all the kind comments. I love all you guys. You're really the best. And until I see you next time, happy stitching. Bye.